Now let's show you the different locations that he was spotted in for 36 days. We here on CNN News 18 have tracked it down for you. The different locations he tried to escape to but eventually had to come back to Punjab to get arrested. It all started when he was first seen fleeing in a Mercedes car. That was on the 18th of March in Punjab in Mehatpur. That was one of the first times he was spotted right after the lookout notice uh, was issued against him, right after he was declared a fugitive. Moving on to the next location where we saw him, that was at the Shahkot Toll Plaza. Again, in a car, you see the date there, that too is on the 18th of March, 11.27 a.m. is where he was uh, then spotted. Then moving on to Patiala, that is when he decided that he needs to ditch his Mercedes car and instead switch to another mode of transport. So there you see him with another person on the two-wheeler trying to escape. Then, first time. Outside of Punjab is where he was spotted, that was in Shahabad in Haryana, where he was spotted under an umbrella, walking away into an alley like nothing was happening, like he was leading a normal life. But investigating agencies knew exactly who he was and they were keeping a track of him. Then in ISBT in Delhi as well, where he was seen by multiple people as informed to the investigating agencies with one of his aides, Papal Preet, who was arrested just a few days ago. He was one of the closest links to ensure that Amrit Pal Singh was also brought to book. Then there were reports and there were communiques between the De uh, uh, Indian government and the Nepal government that he perhaps is in Nepal and he should not be allowed to flee. So India had notified Nepal that he should be arrested if they did come across. Also told them that you cannot let him flee to another country. Cut across now to the 27th of April in Punjab where the surrender has happened. The arrest has happened. This has happened today, the 23rd of April, I beg your pardon, when over a month after he was uh, declared a fugitive, finally Amritpal Singh was arrested. So how did he manage to evade the law for 36 long days? There are several strategies that he used. One of the first ones was that he used multiple disguises. He changed the way he looked. There were many pictures that cropped up of him without a beard, without his uh, a traditional attire that you see him in now. All of those were ditched. What he also did was he changed his mode of transport multiple times. Be it from a Mercedes to another car to a two-wheeler to then uh, even being seen walking under an umbrella. So he tried to change multiple modes of transport. He was also in touch with several mediators. He was trying to ensure that he wasn't in touch with just one person so that he could be tracked and could be located. What then he also did was to stay off the radar was that he changed his electronic devices multiple times. So he used different phones, he used different numbers so as to stay below the radar so that the investigating agencies would not have been able to pinpoint where exactly he was.